H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Uh, rather, what we will do is, uh, okay, first let me show you once again from scratch. I'm going to delete whatever the project that I have created. I've deleted. Just please be on mute and please observe it. Shall I go ahead? Yes, yeah. Yes, please. Yes. All right. Okay. But the very first step is I'm going to create a Java project. How to create a Java project? It's file, new, Java project. And I'm going to give one name to it known as Selenium Automation. Click on next and click on finish. Okay. The second thing is that I'm going to create two subfolders in it. Right click on the Java project new folder and one I'm gonna name it as jars finish right click on this I'm mm -hmm. gonna create two subfolders the other one I'm gonna name it as browsers finish so we have two subfolders under this Java project one is jars and one is browser the to work with selenium we need to download the selenium server standalone jar file how to do that you have to go to their official website that is selenium.dev and if you just scroll a bit down you will see selenium web driver selenium ide and selenium grid download the first option which tells you selenium web driver click on download okay it will take you to the next page here if you see the latest table version is 3.141.59 if you just click on this it's going to download you a jar file which is of 10 mb if you're probably using chrome the moment you click on this one you will get this option this type of a file can harm your system do you want it to keep it anyway just keep it i mean like you know hit on keep button generally the downloaded file would be in the downloads folder and the file icon would look like this for some people it would look like a zip icon <coughs> to make sure that it, it is a jar file right click go to properties go to details and you can see that it's a jar file the extension is dot jar so copy this and paste it inside this jar like this is it enough or do do i need to associate it is it enough or do i need to associate it Okay. How, how, to yes. do that? how to do that? Right, right click, right click, right click and, and build path or something. Build path. Fine. Okay. This is perfectly fine. The moment you click on add to build path, you should see one more library which got added known as referenced library. So let me quickly go, go back to this page scroll a bit down where i can see a browser <clears throat> excuse me and i'm gonna check for this chrome click on this documentation page here all versions available the latest stable version is this one just click on this one and it is only 32 bit no 64 bit for this the moment you click on this one it's going to download this file for you again go back to your 
downloads uh, folder where usually all your downloads will happen it's a zip file please extract it some people even after me telling to extract it they will just copy paste it the zip file they will copy paste they will not extract it so point to be noted here first it you have to unzip it copy the file which you will get after unzipping it copy and paste it inside the browser so you'll get this chrome options okay so we have selenium jar file and chrome browser exe please make sure that you don't add this you have to add only the jar file to the build path please don't add this chrome.exe to the build path okay you have to just copy paste it you shouldn't be adding it you should you should be adding only the jar files to the build path for time being only chrome driver is enough or else no let's um, even add geeko driver that is firefox driver mm, let us start browsers geeko driver click on this documentation um click on this one and it will take you to the github page and here you see this windows 64 which is of 1 mb and let me go back to the same location extract here copy this and paste it here so i i have these two browsers for time for now this is more than enough and selenium standalone jar file now let's start with a regular work right click on this src folder create a package Sandwich. Uh, Santosh question here. Yeah. Uh, if there are multiple projects, hmm. uh, so should we be having the jar files and the executable files for each of the project? For now, just have it for each of the project. I will tell you mm -hmm. how to keep a jar. Of, I mean, browser exe should be there for um, individual project, but jar mm -hmm. files you can keep it in uh, some folder, a general folder, and you can just call mm -hmm. it. Okay, you don't have to add okay. jar file for each and every individual folders for but for browser exe you have to have it must and should okay jar so file, later would you be I'll, I'll, later would you be explaining how can you do it okay yeah, i'll do that i'll do that okay sure right click on this src new package and i'm gonna create basic browser tests Click on finish. Right click new Chrome class. This is Chrome test. Or like let me full from Chrome browser test. Public static white main. You got this message. Chrome driver is a class. Okay. To use the Chrome driver, you need to create an object of it. But before to that, you need to do one, you need to have one variable that is system. System, as you know, that is, um, it refers to your computer or laptop dot set property set property see here i'm gonna take the second one both which is accepting or expecting key and value pair both are of string type string key and string value choose this one and close with the semicolon key is web driver dot chrome dot driver and the value is copy the complete path of this chrome driver properties this one full forward slash okay 
This looks somewhat clumsy, isn't it? Such a big path. And some people would be having a D drive inside a folder, inside a folder, inside a folder. That would really look difficult. Correct? Correct? Yes. So can we simplify this one instead of keeping this lengthy path? Can we simplify this one? Yes. yes. Delete it. Put one dot. One dot represent you're in this folder now. Selenium automation. Put one backward slash. Not forward slash. This time it is backward slash. That is from here dot means you're here backward slash and your which browser I mean like you know which is the folder the folder is browsers inside a browser it is chrome driver dot exe more than enough the dot represents your current working directory one forward slash and the folder name and one forward slash the file name isn't it easy rather than yes, the drive all complete path this is very simple next one is as you know chrome is a class in selenium so create an object of it new chrome driver <laughs> others all are deprecated if you can see it only chrome and chrome options are enabled for now we are just using chrome driver create one driver reference here move your mouse pointer create local variable then from this driver dot manage dot window dot maximize let's see if this first three lines of code are working then we'll go with the other lines of code just run this program which window will it maximize browser window the window which opened by the chrome driver see it will max has it maximized yeah okay now get method is used use to pass the url driver dot get can you see this and it is taking string as an argument which is of url is in string type right like new let me open um, Google then second thing is that get title method is used to get the title title driver dot get title and i'm gonna store it with some url or some um, variable variable name is title t-i-t-l-e move my mouse pointer and print this one s-y-s-o-u-t sys out t-i-t-l-e title and i'll wait for some time thread dot sleep thread dot sleep i'm just putting just to pause my execution at this point for you guys to visually see it two seconds and it's a checked exception it will ask me to throw an exception and finally driver i mean sorry close method is to is to is used to close the driver instance or browser instance driver dot close okay so let's run this right click run as java application 
<coughs> it will launch your Chrome browser. It will maximize, it will enter the URL, it has fetched uh, the title and it has closed. Did you notice it? Whatever that a user does it manually, now it has been done by a tool and the tool is known as Selenium. Got it? Santos, why this thread dot slip gives ex uh, exception? Because it's a checked exception. That is what we have learned in our last Java class, exception handling. It is one of the exception. And which exception you said? It is checked exception. That is, even before running the program, it will ask you to throw that exception. Got it? Okay. Yeah, Santosh, this Santosh. driver dot manage means that in the driver, uh, I mean manage is a method, and then in manage another method is there window and yes, and in window another method is there maximize. Santosh, uh, Santosh. Are the object for the class Chrome browser test, the uh, new Chrome driver, is that right? No, Chrome driver test is a class. Chrome driver is a object. You remember our interface class? Yes, yes. Hmm. This ob object can be anything. I'm not creating an object of Chrome driver test. I'm creating an object of Firefox test. Thank you. Okay. Um, and when I run the, hold on. When I run this code. Hold on, hold on. Uh, when I run, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. We'll see one more uh, program with uh, Firefox and then we can like, you know, I'll keep uh, hold on I mean, keep your questions. Let me show one more thing. Right click. One more program. Test. Firefox. Public static void main. Last program also instead of Chrome browser test. Test. Chrome. I'm just changing the class name altogether because it is creating confusion here In test firefox here system dot set property this one is web driver dot geeko dot driver and the value is one dot represent your current working directory one forward slash browsers browsers dot geeko driver dot exe then new firefox driver driver firefox driver dot manage dot window dot maximize okay here yahoo.com gonna hit enter the moment see here i'm typing yahoo.com right I'm typing yahoo.com, right? Yes. The moment I hit enter, it is the URL is getting changed. Can you see this? Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Yeah. So driver.get yahoo.com. After that, driver.get current URL. And I'm going to store it in some variable known as um, URL, whatever. And I'm going to print it. S Y S O U T S S O T. Print the URL. And sleep for some. No, not required to sleep. I'm going to drive it out close. Let me run this program. 
Working. Yes. Driver yes. dot get I have given Yahoo dot com, but the current URL got changed to in dot Yahoo dot com. Some query parameter P is equal to US. Can you see this? Did you notice that? Yes. 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 It is so interesting. Okay. This one is for the Firefox. <laughs> Next, what we will do is I will today I will show you all possible action which can be done outside the browser. What I mean outside the browser is um, let me take a print screen of it. Paint. This is inside the browser and this is outside the browser today we'll see and we'll see all possible which can be done outside the browser okay next one is what i'm gonna do is very famous interview question class test browser okay public static point mean Here I'm creating an object of Firefox and this has been referenced by its own type. What it is known as? Compile time. Um, compile time polymorphism. polymorphism. It's known as compile time polymorphism. Okay, just don't tell polymorphism, my friend. Everything is a polymorphism, but you should be in specific which polymorphism it is. It is compile time polymorphism. As well as it is dynamic, right? No, it is not dynamic. A child class, when you create a class and it when it's being referenced by its own type, it's known as compile time polymorphism. But if you see here, what is its type? Its type is Chrome driver. Same. Same, right? You created an object of a class and it is being referenced by its own type. Can you give this reference to any other browser? No. No. Did you understand my question? You have created yes. an object and can you give this driver reference to Firefox? Even Firefox is a browser, right? Can you give this driver reference? No, because it is it is static. But can we do like this? It's a very famous interview question. What is the let me know, let me write down the interview question first. Mm. Web driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Okay. Then Chrome driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver. What is the difference between this two? They will write this and they will ask you what is the difference? <laughs> what is the difference? Okay. The answer is answer is when they are different type of hold on, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Hold on. answer is the first one that is web web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver this driver reference can be given to any browser browser type whereas whereas the second one 
is limited to only chrome type very much self explanatory tell me who who did not understand this this when you upcast this driver to web driver this driver reference can be given it to chrome type or it can be given it to firefox but when you write it like this this driver is reference this driver reference is limited to only only chrome type chrome chrome chrome. makes sense does it make sense yes yeah this is the yes. call for polymorphism right <laughs> this is runtime polymorphism yeah Santos, in what situation someone will use only Chrome driver? Nobody will Second use this. Stuff. Nobody will use oh, it. This ex uh, okay. interval. Everybody will use this only. But if you're writing like this way, you should be supporting with proper justification as to why you're writing like this. You cannot simply go just write like this, right? People will start asking you that like, you know, boss, you can write it like this way also. I mean, the driver reference of chrome driver should be referenced by chrome driver why are you upcasting it to web driver then you can give a justification that if i do this this driver would this driver reference would be limited only to chrome driver but if i do this this driver reference can be given it to chrome driver as well firefox driver as well or even or any other things shall we see this in action now Shall we? Yes. Yes. Declare, yes, please. A, declare a variable. I'm going to declare a static, static web driver control space driver, a global variable. Static means I don't have to create an object to access this. It belongs to a class level. Now, copy this first one. Uh, copy this entire one. Hmm? I'll put it here. Here. Instead of this one, just me change this. So this driver, just the moment I remove from where it is taking, everything is highlighted to the up one. Did you notice? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, this thread dot sleep, I will throw an exception. Now, let me copy this Firefox too. 